And do you kind of regret the amount of time that you spent in your books? Your other age mates were maybe going out or traveling. There are a couple of things that I definitely wish I focused on more at a younger age that would have made my life a bit more easier now, or I would just feel a bit more well-rounded now as a woman. This might get actually very girly very quickly. <laughs> working on your personal style, knowing what suits you, knowing what colors suit you. I don't even know if I can say this. Like, I wasn't allowed to date until quite, I was quite old. I didn't get my nails done until afternoon. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Temi. And on this channel, we talk everything careers, lifestyle, and tech. So if you're interested, do hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I am going to be making the first video of its kind on my channel and I'm only going to be speaking to the ladies today. I know a lot about the demographics who watch my channel and I guess because of the career content and more men being engineers and in STEM, that's why the majority of people that watch my channel are men or are guys. But today I'm gonna to be speaking to my ladies. So guys, if you're here, Please click off. <laughs> I know some of you curious guys are gonna stay, but it's calm, it's calm. You can send this to your sisters. So as the title says, sometimes I do change the title, but in my mind, this video was titled for girls who spent their youth studying. You guys know probably more than most about my academic history and some of the extracurricular activities I've done to kind of boost my resume, boost my CV, um and basically just kind of get where i want to be like career wise if you're watching this video you probably can relate to the title and i just want to talk about like was it worth it did you end up where you wanted to end up and lessons that i've learned in this area in this weird this weird area if you come from a background that is very very keen on education you might have felt like for the majority of your life you were just like reading your books, you were just in your books, you were just studying, your life was basically for exams, for studying, for getting good grades, for getting your coursework, you know, 100%. You know, if you're 80%, why are you not 90%? I think when you've grown up doing this for so long, so like what primary school up to year six and then GCSEs from year seven to year 11, and then it's six form, it's A levels from age 16 to 18, and then it's uni it kind of never stops until you've kind of hit adulthood. And then at that point, there's a lot of things that sh may have probably fit in that time frame that you maybe could have focused on or would have benefited from spending more time on. And as I'm talking, I'm sure things are coming to mind. I'm sure things are popping up in your mind because things are definitely popping up in my mind. I feel like in the last kind of a couple of years after graduation, I've kind of tried to play catch up because I've noticed that maybe my peers or other people my age who weren't as studious as me have experiences or have certain um, things that they know about themselves or developed in certain ways that maybe I haven't because I was so focused on studying. I was so focused on getting good grades. And guys, if anyone can talk about this, it's me. Like, if you look at my channel, you will see that I have tips and tricks for careers, for interviews, for um, exams, for studying. I did a really difficult degree. So I know all about studying. I know how much time it takes, how much effort, how much commitment it takes. My sisters are exceptional as well. I have one doing medicine at the moment, one's actually just graduate from chemistry like so I know the kind of effort that 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 needs and I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this also are well aware of how much you work the point is there are a couple of things that I definitely wish I focused on more at a younger age that would have made my life a bit more easier now or I would just feel a bit more well-rounded now as a woman <laughs> That's why I told all you men to leave. So I know some of you are still here. Okay, so what are the kind of things that I'm talking about? First off, I just kind of want to ask the question, like if you're at my current age now, so I'm 25, I've never actually said my age on my channel before, but I'm 25. Some of you can probably calculate that. But I think my mentality going through school and things then 
was that if I work really, really hard now, that I'm guaranteed to get a job that can afford me the lifestyle that I want, and then I can play catch up. So like, it's a worthy, like it's a worthy investment or it's a worthy sacrifice, I would call it. But what I've learned from that is like, not everything is guaranteed and the world doesn't work as linearly as I thought it did. I genuinely believed, <laughs> don't laugh at me, that the people who studied the most, the people who were the most well-educated, that that paid off in terms of like how lucrative the job you got was. Like in my mind, doctors were like here, like doctors were like up there with how hard their degree is, how hard they work and their salary. So I thought obviously doctors would have the life, the, like the best lifestyle or business people. I understood that, but that's that was my mentality in a nutshell. That is not real <laughs> and that does not exist. And therefore, like, I don't think it's completely wise to spend your entire youth studying. <laughs> okay, let's move on, let's move on. But for you guys who are watching now, like, do you feel that you ended up where you wanted to end up? If you are post that kind of like university age, or are you still figuring out where you want to end up? And do you kind of regret the amount of time that you spent in your books, in your book studying when people, your other age mates were maybe going out or traveling or um, just doing different things. What do you guys feel? I really want to know your thoughts because this is quite a, a personal topic, I guess, as well. I'm just going to take a sip of tea. Okay, so let's get into specifics. When I mentioned this video topic to my friends, they said like it really resonated with them. And for me, I had very specific things that I wanted to tell the ladies or like tell women who are growing up in, you know, academia, who are working their butts off, um, that if I could do it differently, some of the things I would spend more time on and some of the things I would spend less time on. This might get actually very girly very quickly, <laughs> but I would say that the first thing that I probably Maybe the first thing that I can think of, not should have spent more time on, but like, I don't, I don't even know if I can say this. <laughs> like I wasn't allowed to date until quite, I was quite old or like quite in my youth, not youth, but like, like I wasn't allowed to. I don't really know why. I don't know if it was because of academics and it would be distracting. Like, I don't think I wanted to anyway, but I definitely, feel like I could have done more in that department, not necessarily because I wanted to get married or anything like that, but just for the experience of it. And I might not even put this in the video if I don't feel like sharing this, but <laughs> I think that's like one of the things that you kind of have your head down so much, you don't even see, like you don't, you're not focused on that, but at the same time, like, not that you should be focused on it. It's just like having some kind of experience or like knowing what it's like or knowing what you like and knowing what experiences you like like just like learning about yourself in that way i think is kind of important and it's not something you can't start after uni or after you graduate but i looking back i think i maybe would have spent a little bit more time on it i think tied to that as well is like figuring out what looks good on me and I think this one is really interesting as well because I think for my age group I dress quite modestly and I always have just because the other way of dressing just does not suit me I don't think it does not that I don't dibble and dabble in it but I just prefer very modest drapey um like even this like I love this blazer like I really like it um I just prefer, and if you look on my Instagram, you'll see you'll see that that's the kind of tone. It's more like modern and less, not even modern, more like elegant, I would say. Less kind of like bodycon. Not that I don't have any bodycons, it's just less so. And I feel like I've only really kind of discovered like the most of my style in the last couple of years and I didn't really do any of that at uni I didn't do any of that before uni like if you look at what I used to wear you'd think like 
like why is she wearing this <laughs> well at least i think that now and i feel like it's the same for most girls that you look back and you're like well, what was i wearing but i think just like working on your personal style knowing what suits you know what colors suit you because not all colors suit everyone i just think you just feel more confident like especially when you're starting your first job you walk into your first job or you walk into an interview with comfortable clothing that you like that suits you that you I don't know that you feel good in and I just think that sets you up for success like whether it's at work whether you're going on a date whether it's meeting new people whether it's with friends I feel like that really kind of sets you up well the third thing that I would say is this guy sounds so weird but when I used to live in Liverpool I went to these pure gym classes that kind of ended up as PT sessions because I was the only one there but it's essentially, it was a class to teach you how to um, strength train. So like how to strength train like um, this compound movement. So like deadlifts and squats and what's this one? Um, presses. Presses? What's that one called? Bench press. Bench press. <laughs> she taught me like proper form. And guess what this woman told me? She said, for your height, you have very long femurs. So you're never gonna be able to squat like everyone else. And I was like, thank God that she said that because I've been struggling for so long. I didn't understand. So my point is learn how to strength train. And I say strength train specifically because when you get, as you get older with age, I'll probably try and put like the data in, in the description. As a female, you lose your muscle mass like every year from a certain age. I don't know what age it is, but if you like at least know the, the basics of form of some few moves um, and exercises like you just learn it just for the sake of learning it at some point where you feel like oh I'm getting a bit round I'm getting a bit chubby and you actually want to go into it like you have some background some basics and some knowledge so I would say like that's something I wish I did at uni actually and not like after after uni because I had a lot of muscle mass going into uni from school, from sports and like at uni, because if you don't use it, like you lose it. So that's, that's what I would say. It's so strange. I feel so weird talking about this stuff on the internet because it's like, I usually talk about such serious topics. <laughs> Another thing I would say, the fourth thing is learn like how to make friends in school slash uni. For me, I did an engineering degree, which I'm sure you guys have talked to Eric about that now. But in this engineering degree, we always had to work in teams, regardless of whether you like that person or not. I find that in uni, like everyone helps themselves, everyone helps each other out. For me, I definitely went into uni as like a lone wolf and I was adopted by like my friends that are my friends now. But if I needed to make friends with anyone else out of that group, for like academic reasons, I'll just be real with you. I found that very, very hard. Like I would just prefer to be on my own and like suffer the consequences of like getting a lower grade or something because I just didn't have the, not necessarily the people skills, but kind of the people skills, I'll be real. Like my people skills are so much better now, um, just through like a certain experiences that I forced myself to go through and like do. But this tip isn't necessarily saying to have friends. It's not saying to have friends, I think, most people have one or two friends that they like or they've grown up with um if you don't have friends we can make a video on that <laughs> but if um i think yeah the point is not to say have friends the point is to say know how to make friends when you start work when you live in maybe in a new environment and you need to actually have people because people need people you know at least like the skills or like the kinds of conversations you can start and just having that kind of openness to other people i think is super important as well guys as women i kind of alluded it to it in the kind of like how you dress and like knowing what suits you and like what colors suit you guys colors are so important but also tied with that is like understanding like learning your face <laughs> in terms of like makeup and personally I think that takes a really long time to do but sometimes I look at like 15 year olds and 16 year olds and I'm like you literally look like you paid someone to do this for you like this is this looks incredible like I've never done makeup like that in my life and I think 
just experimenting and dibbling and dabbling at uni. I know guys, it's tough out there in terms of money and that kind of thing, but like just dibbling and dabbling in like, even things like foundation shades and concealer shades and just understanding like your undertone and like what blush, what color blush shoots you, like red, pink, or like, I don't know. I find that obviously makeup styles and trends evolve with time, but as I said before, like what suits you may not suit everyone else. Like for me right now, like I'm wearing this very like light, it doesn't look light on camera, I don't think, but it's just because I found the products that do the most work with the least effort for my face. And I don't like very dramatic makeup. I actually had a very dramatic makeup look in a few videos back, but that was on purpose because I just wanted to see what it looked like on camera. So kind of, I sometimes test makeup looks on camera as well but i think i suit a very like light kind of like no makeup um i also like korean makeup it's just very light and like pink and blushy and just natural looking so i would definitely say like learn your face i'm still learning my face i'm learning like not to put contour down here but to put contour up here Things like that, you know? Uh, watch Jackie Aina, watch, who else does makeup really well? Um, lots of people. Literally just search makeup black girl or makeup Asian girl, brown girl. Just, just search that. Uh, or makeup white girl. Yeah, those are some of the things that I'd say. The point of this video is like also like not to invalidate the hard work that it takes to get where you wanna be. I worked very hard to get where I am right now, even though like I'm at the beginning, like I'm at the beginning. I'm so junior, like it's not even a joke. <laughs> so like don't think, don't look at me as like, oh, like she's attained this or she's attained that. Like I'm very similar, I feel, to you guys. Um, if we're like at similar ages, I, I still feel very similar to you. So I wouldn't say like, this video isn't to invalidate the hard work that you've done and the hard work that I've done. Oh no, no. Absolutely not. Like my hard work is the reason why I went to Japan and had a very like luxury trip. Like this doesn't take away from the hard work that you've done. It's just to say, like if you really think about it, you can think about like, was it worth it? And is there anything like after graduation or like whilst you're working that you want to focus on um, and improve that you maybe didn't get the chance to? So it's kind of like a retrospective pat on the back but also I didn't do this so let's do it now okay so guys let me know if you enjoyed this video it's currently 10 to 12 a.m but I'm filming this video for you guys it's been a very long day for me so sorry if what I'm saying doesn't quite compute and translate well but I really like this girl chat guys let me know in the comments if you liked it as well um and we can make some more definitely if you liked it make sure you like the video comment share it with your friends hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video i tried a self-defense glass mm -hmm. which hopefully not did come in handy in so you've done it yeah how it was, was it as well it was so good wow it's free like the first class was free i can't lie but like you did horse riding as well yeah i did that too and how did you ride something cheap as well I wouldn't want you to sit down and take time to find things for yourself. There's actually so many free things. Like I, my, I have one friend, she, she's always finding free things to do. Like we've planned a hike in a couple of weeks and like walking is free. There was a free Pilates class that she told me about. I actually want to do horse riding. I want to go golf. Yeah, you said you wanted to do golfing. Yeah, we live near like loads of golf courses. Oh wow, you're recording. Yeah, I told you. I like to do like so behind the scenes. That makes me do puppy yoga. Puppy yoga. Yeah. <laughs> you did pottery that time. Pot pottery. Pottery. Nylon bag, you know who you are. Shout out to you guys. Mm. I didn't get my nails done until after you. Do you know what? You you just said something. <laughs> I've never got my nails done until after I graduated the first time. Same. Same. I the first time I got my nails done was after uni. That's crazy. Well it's not crazy, is it? Because it's actually it's an expense. Crazy, it's a huge like, expense. Well, it's a treat that I've never experienced. Or like, you know. Yeah, because it's just not a financial priority. Right after it. And yeah. Every time I get to my hands, I feel wow. This yeah. Is worth it. I've had my nails done now for like just under a year. Like back to back to back. 
and I really like it. It makes me feel like a gal. Like what, basically? I think all valid points. <laughs> <laughs>